If you're using Complete Anatomy on a laptop, there are a number of shortcuts you can use to increase your efficiency. In this video, we'll discuss shortcuts for Mac, but many of them are available on PC too. I'll pop a little keyboard icon here on the bottom of the screen so you can keep track of the keys I'm using. Okay, let's start with the systems. Each system is assigned a key from the top line of the keyboard that corresponds with the order on the interface. Pressing 1 will activate the skeletal system. 2 is connective tissue. From here you can add layers to the model using Option and Plus. You can also take layers away using Option and Minus. To remove or add all of the layers, use Option and Zero. Selected structures can be removed one at a time with the Backspace or Delete key. Multiple structures can be selected by holding down the command key while using the mouse to select structures. They can all be removed using the backspace key, faded using command and J, or isolated using command and I. To limit the model to just the structures from an individual region, use shift and the number buttons. The number assigned generally trends from top to bottom, with shift in one isolating the head and neck, all the way down to shift in 7, isolating the lower limb. Shift in 0 will bring back the full model. To rotate the model, use the arrow keys. Using shift alongside the arrow keys will pan the model across the screen. Option and the left or right arrow will rotate the model on its vertical axis. To zoom into the model, it's command and plus. To zoom out, it's command and minus. Each of the annotation tools also come with keyboard shortcuts. The pen tool is activated when I open the tools menu and press P. Shift and P toggles between 2 and 3D pen tools. L will activate the labels feature and T will add a text box. It's C for the cut tool and Shift and C will cycle through the cut tool options. 